Now then, good morning. It's Tuesday morning. Just had a bank holiday long weekend. Uh, I've just kind of been painting stuff. So I finished off my Valhallans over the weekend. Um, that video is up now. Um, but this week, I think my video log will be centered around my uh, my hoard for Age of Magic. So looking at the um, the troop types there, what I've what I've built this weekend is I do apologise if it's a bit wobbly. So I've got two units of warriors, two units of mounted hearth guard, and then I've got my warlord mounted on a beast, possibly a lieutenant if I choose to use him. I've got a sorcerer. Um, there, which I converted out of bits and pieces. There he is. There, he's like a bone shaman. He's like dancing on one foot. Look, okay, he's quite cool. Uh, and I've done another sorcerer mounted on a ball as well. Again, another bit of a conversion there. Um, so I've got a bit of a bit of options. So, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six points already. Um, I've still got my spider eyes to do. That'll take it up to seven points, and I've got two units of levy archers. That takes me up to nine points. And over here, on top of my shelf, I have um, the catapult that I made that could be used. I've got another sorcerer there, a little goblin one. And then I've got this. I could use that as the legendary unit. So my big spider. I apologise if I'm moving the camera around. But uh, where is it? Legendary units. Yeah, the war monster. So I could use that. It's got a fighting firing platform on it. Big monster. I could use my spider for that if I wanted to. So that costs three points. I won't use that all the time, but it's there, isn't it, as an option? Anyway, um, a little bit more building to do and I'll start getting these painted, hopefully at some point this week. Right, speak to you tomorrow. Bye bye. Now then, good morning. So it's Wednesday, Wednesday morning. Um, I spent last night sticking these together, these spider riders. That's another point of uh, mounted warriors I'm going to call these. Uh, they've all got spears. Um, now these models are an absolute pain in the bum. Really simple to put together, but the mould lines on them, wow. They're for hours, just mould lines for days on them. Um, but yeah, they're stuck together now, and they don't sit properly on the base, on these new bases. So, I've stuck a bit of sprue underneath them, I'm just going to have to build it up. It's like they're floating at the minute. Build it up with a bit of filler underneath, and it'll be fine, I think. So, there's one. Uh, mounted Warriors, one point. One point of Warriors. Another point of Warriors, there's three. Four hearth guard, five hearth guard, six the sorcerer, and the last two points are going to be uh, goblin archers. That'll take me up to eight points. I've got a few extra bits that I built as well from the kit. So yeah, so this is uh, quite a cool little um, little model there. Just converted him up a bit. He's got the um, that hand there is from you get a drummer. In the kit, in the kit, so that's his drumstick, but that's like a, uh, um, like his little staff, his little wizard staff. He's holding an elf's head. Um, so I had to just chop, chop a, a spear arm up and things like that to make that. Uh, he's got the, I think that's the actual champion's head, but it's a bit more, a bit more funky in it. So that could, he can be the sorcerer, if I should need one. I've also got another sorcerer, potentially, might be on a big pig. There he is. I do like these models, they're cool. It seems I've pretty much got them for nothing because of um, Christmas vouchers. You know, can't go wrong. There's another goblin. The goblin champion, this one, so he could be my warlord. Which is kind of leading me down the path of maybe creating a separate warband for my goblins, but. We won't go there yet. Um, and I've got potential lieutenant there. If I wanted to use him. I'm not quite so keen on the pose on this guy. He seems to just, it's like he's going to fall backwards. 
but, you know, that's just the way, the way he comes in the kit. Uh, and I've built a standard bearer as well. I can't really use these in Age of Magic. I could stick him in a warrior unit, I suppose. I've got another model as well, and another standard. I might make another one, and I've one in each um, warrior unit. But yeah. So taking these away, there's my there's my six points so far. Focus. Yeah, there's my six points so far. Um, twenty four goblins to add to that once they turn up from North Star, uh, and that's me. Okay, take it easy. Speak to you tomorrow. Now then, so it's Thursday afternoon. Uh, all I've managed to do this week is get these built and texture the bases. Um, I'm still waiting for my forest goblins to arrive from North Star, so um, in the meantime, I think when I get a bit of time, I'm going to get all these undercoated and then just put them all in a box because it's demoralising seeing that many unpainted figures in front of me. Um, yeah. And I'll just paint one unit at a time. Anyway, I'll speak to you tomorrow. Bye. Now then, good morning. So it's Saturday morning. Finally got a little bit of time. I'm going to get these undercoated. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, one I've had to work with, uh, a good mate of mine actually, he's, I've known him for many, many years. Um, give me these. Untouched. Unopened since 1994. So there's a full team in there. And then there's that one as well. And um, he really sorted me out after I left the army. Um, he pretty much got me the job that I've got now. So I'm going to paint these up for him. Um, finally. He's only had them 30 years <laughs> or so. But anyway, uh, let's get these under COVID. Now then, and good morning. So it's Sunday morning. Uh, yesterday, I, it was just raining all day, so... I managed to get these undercoated before it got too bad. So everything's undercoated now. And yesterday afternoon and evening, I sat down and I painted up my first unit of warriors. So, um, just trying not to wobble this everywhere. These two on the end, I've got the flesh tones finished. They're not quite finished. I still need to do a little bit of work on the um, on the wood and things. Um, I use contrast on it and it just kind of pulls. I'm not sure how to use it really. Uh, but yeah, and uh, these guys are nearly there as well. Um, quite happy with the uh, the totem pole thing. Kind of turned out looks alright. Try to go for that sort of kind of blend. Uh, but yeah, they look they look alright. Pretty cool models, I think. Uh, everything else is undercoated, and as you can see there, my forest goblins turned up from North Star. Um, Really cool little box actually, there's 25 in there, all the bases and everything. So I need two units of 12, gonna have bows, um, so two units of levy archers there, and yeah, I'll crack on and get these done. So, I mean, painting those eight, I think they look okay. It only took me a couple of hours really, to, once they're undercoated and all stuck together and, um, and stuff. Yeah, slapping the paint on didn't take long at all, to be honest. Um, but I'll finish them off today. Uh, anyway, don't want to waffle on too much. This video is going to be quite long anyway. So I'll wrap this up here and I'll speak to you again next week. Hopefully with a bit of upgrade. Uh, upgrade. A bit of progress on the Wargaming Shed as well. Alright, speak to you later. Bye bye.